Okay, so this presentation is just a short introduction to Reading 16, which is set for this week, um, and the ideas of Edward de Bono. If you read through it carefully, you'll find there's a lot of detail and information about de Bono himself, and some of you might have heard of him or come across his ideas previously. Um, the main concept that we're looking at here is his idea of the six thinking hats. So... One thing that um, underlines all of Edward de Bono's work and writing is that new ways of thinking need to be used to solve the challenges of the 21st century. So that's where we are now and that's why we're having a look at his ideas and we're going to use the six thinking hats in the preparation of your research essay. So he believes that thinking can be taught through specific strategies and already in this course we've introduced you to a number of strategies to help you organise your thinking and thoughts about topics. So they were things like the clustering that we did early in the course, um, the concept mapping, the um, using the five W's and H questions to organise your ideas, using a graphic organiser to plan the thinking around your paragraph. So the six thinking hats is just another Another strategy that you can now add to your um, add to your store of um, skills that you can use in the future. So one thing De Bono does say, and this is in the reading on page 113, is that most people when they think try to do too many things at the same time and he calls this muddled thinking and this is what he's trying to help us avoid. So he's developed this um, idea or strategy of the six thinking hats and what it does is offer a step-by-step -step approach to what de Bono calls parallel thinking which allows us to overcome our muddled thinking. So the six thinking hats is based on the idea that there's six main thinking approaches. So the red hat, if you are doing some red hat thinking, you'll be dealing with feelings and um, emotions and your personal view about a topic. Uh, yellow hat thinking, if you're doing yellow hat thinking, you're looking at the strengths of a topic or a project or an idea. The black hat, if you're doing black hat thinking, you're looking at weaknesses, you're looking at what might be wrong um, or what might be missing. If you're doing green hat thinking, you're doing some creative thinking and coming up with new ideas and possibilities regarding the topic you're thinking about. White hat thinking is all about basic information and facts about the topic. So that could be the facts that you know or the facts you might think you need to go and find out. And blue hat thinking is thinking about the thinking process, so going back and checking and having an overview of what you've done as you've worked through the six hat process and seeing if you might need to revisit any of those areas again um, or whether you think you've got everything you need. So what you should do with reading 16 now is read the descriptions and instructions for each hat colour that's in the reading and look and read carefully the paragraphs that we've provided as examples um, that could emerge from a particular type of thinking. And the other thing that's in reading 16 is a highly annot annotated essay. So it's got lots of notes to draw your attention to certain things and that's really useful and it may well be something that you come back to later in the next few weeks as well. So I'd be really interested to know what you think about the six hats. So you can use the Module 4 Discussion Forum on Moodle to share what you think about this six hat thinking strategy. Can you see how it might be a useful planning tool? Can you think of any place it might have um, other than in essay writing? So could it be useful in other arenas apart from university? And perhaps you've encountered de Bono or the six thinking hats before and you've got some stories and ideas to share about that. So all the best and enjoy reading 16.